fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> Hi all, well here we are again. What have I got in the box? Well, if you've been following my videos, as a lot of you do, you would know that I just bought myself the Hangar 9 PA-18 Super Cub. And uh, it's a quarter scale one, and I wanted some Tundra wheels. If you haven't seen that video, have a look up here. It'll be here. There's a link here for you. And uh, anyway, back to these. I wanted some Tundra wheels. And as I mentioned in that video, I uh, searched around the world and I found a place in Eagle River, Alaska. It's PR Bush Wheels. There'll be a link put up in the uh, talk that's underneath the video. If you have a look down there in the words there, there'll be a link for you to get in touch. Steve and Robert are their name. Great blokes. Anyway, this is the package. It took about a week and a half to get here to Australia. Plenty of packing in there. Plenty of packing. Okay, let's get these things out of the box and I'll give you a close up look at what I've bought for my PA-18 Super Cub. Okay, in there, each wheel is individually wrapped and it's wrapped pretty good. It's got a bit of foam around it there. Ho oh, ho, look at that. Now look at that for a wheel. That looks really nice. Now, they deflate them a little bit because in the aeroplane going up to such high heights, the air pressure would bust them or do something, I think. So they've been uh, let down. You've got to pump them up a little bit. Now, uh, feels very nice. The bushes look good. Lock nuts on it. Nothing's going to come undone there. You've got a valve here that looks very good. Looks easy to use. As you can see, they're quite big wheels. How big? There's the stock wheel. <laughs> um, quite a bit of difference, I think. I also got shockers. Now, people have told me that have got cubs that the rubber bands that come with all the stock ones, they don't last very long, and rubber bands aren't going to last long here. Now, these look very quality made, and they've actually got springs in there. They're made to fit. They're the quarter scale. They just replace what's already there, and a tail wheel. Now, we needed a tail wheel to match these. These are in scale with it. Now, this looks really nice. It's got leaf springs here. We'll have a close up look at all the parts, I think, in a tick. You either got to put new shafts on the stock one or get some shaft covers because, uh, yeah, this has got a thick, thicker uh, axle diameter than the stock one. So you can either take the stock ones out, drill out the hole, and put in your own axle, or you can also get from the guys some sleeves that go over. They told me to use some JB Weld to put it on, so I've got some of that, and uh, they just slide over. You just need some collars this size to go on the end. Now the guys sent me a pump for pumping them up. Now they don't sell these, you buy these yourself, they're just the little hobby ones to pump up footballs and basketballs and that. And uh, they've got a little bit of plastic over here, I'll show you how it works when we do a bit of close-up in a minute. There's the tyre. As you can see, it is uh, very nice, the rubber. They've got their name around here. Positive Reproductions, 8.75 bush wheel. Now, they do these in all sizes. This is the scale size for quarter scale. They do a third, they do half. They even do them for the Carbon Z foam cub. Now. Bush tyres just look great, I reckon, and these ones look real quality. As you can see there, the nuts in here are all uh, self-locking nuts, so you're not going to have your wheels come apart. I don't know durability. It looks pretty good to me. I, you know, not ever having these and not knowing people that have got these, the latest ones. They've only just developed all this and started to sell them. Now, the tail wheel really is something to behold. It's all made out of alloy. They make all this stuff in-house. This is all alloy. It looks very nice. Then you've got spring steel here. So when you land, you're gonna have spring, not just, uh, you know, carbon fiber of the stock one. Now this is very nice. Again, all the nuts are self-lockers. They're all there. Tire looks good. 
it comes with all the fittings, so you've got it all. And there's the sleeve we was talking about. Hollow on one end to slip over, solid on the other. You need to order these extra if you're gonna go this way. The pump, as you can see, they've cut off the attachment that comes with the pump to attach it to balls and bikes and things like that. And they've just put a little piece of plastic tube over it. Now, if I can just show you this, I don't know if you can see that very well, but the idea of the bit of plastic is you're not actually pushing on the valve. So you're not gonna push the valve in. It's got the uh, valve is in the inside of the piece of plastic tube that's over the pump. So when you buy your bit of hose, you wanna make sure it fits over the valve. That way, you're not gonna push the valve in. Put your screw back in, screw her down. It's got a rubber seal on it. There we are, I've pumped them tires up. I was told don't pump them up too hard because you want a little bit of flexibility in them for when you land them. Ah, that looks nice. There's the stock axle. This just slides over like that. Glue that on and you're not gonna have any problems. Take your wheel and you'll need to get a collar for that end. I haven't got one here at the moment, but I'll get one soon. There's what it's gonna look like on. Compared to the stock, I think uh, this is gonna look really nice. Really looking forward to this. As for the shocker, as you can see there, this is just gonna go straight there. You're gonna be able to have it looking exactly as it is. Very nice. The quality and workmanship looks really good. Okay, that's it for now for our look at the uh, the PR Positive Reproductions Bush Wheels. Okay, I'd just like to thank Steve and Robert from PR Bush Wheels. Um, they've helped me out immensely here with all this gear. And if you're after anything, check, check out the site because they do a lot more than just quarter scale. As I say, they do the small stuff, they do third, they do half. And uh, go and have a look at the site. I think you'll be impressed. Again, thanks for watching all. And uh, keep an eye out for them next videos. We'll be back soon. Bye.